Hello and welcome all of you to this session by Pathfinder for me. Uh, my name is Manish Kane and today I am going to talk to you if you are writing CAD again in the year 2022. And this is your second or third attempt to CAD. So if you are one such person, whether you are a fresher or whether working, I am going to talk to you today. Let us get started. But before we get started, if you are looking for some strategy related content, follow our channel Pathfinder for me. We Every week we come out with videos related to strategies on CAT, on IPMAT, on HSWE and very soon law entrance exams. So you can assume this to be a strategy channel for different competitive exams. If you are looking for some content related to quantitative aptitude, you can follow our channel Mend Your Math. We have a lot of videos, a lot of relevant videos on quantitative aptitude on this particular channel. You can join our telegram channel, you can join our whatsapp group, you can just uh, uh, scan the QR code to join. If you want to reach out to us, you can message us, send a hello on this number 9343921347 and we will be very happy to help you out. Batches for CAT 2022 and 23 are starting almost every week every 10 days so if you're interested please reach out reach out to us and we'll help you find a suitable batch so with that let us get started with our agenda today you are writing cat again now the first thing you need to do is breathe don't jump don't launch yourself into the preparation straight away it will not help you if you straight away launch yourself into the preparation without taking some time to think and what is it that you need to think number one you need to think about what went wrong last year that is something you, you need to think about you need to take a step back and revise basics because you have been practicing on harder questions last year towards especially towards the end of cat towards the end of CAT preparation. So now you need to go back and revise basics again. This is something you should do without fail. And the third thing is you need to start thinking rationally that what are your target colleges and what kind of colleges you would like to join if you have to do an MBA. So these are certain things which you need to start your preparation with always have some backup in mind you know there has to be a college which is your backup college which is your go to college in case you don't get, get selected or you don't get your dream college again this year what this will do is this will take pressure off your head because you will perform to the best of your ability in cat when there is no pressure or when there is little pressure next it is absolutely normal to not feel good about the last year especially if you tried hard and still were not able to make it it's very normal to feel down for a few days you know you're human ultimately so nothing wrong with that but this is a new year do not start your preparation with any preconceived notions you know many people fall into that category you know now i can't make it to iams so let me start targeting colleges that are slightly lower no that should not be done you should have the same target, the same aim, the same goal that you had last year. Because you deserve it. If you are giving another year, you are giving one full year to the preparation, you deserve to aim for the best that you think of. So don't start with any preconceived notions. While I just asked you to have a backup college, that does not mean I don't want you to prepare for the best or I don't want you to lose sight of your goals, your aims. So if you started out by thinking about I am Ahmedabad, please keep thinking about them. The only thing is you need to work harder on your scores because you need to me keep motivating yourselves because your weakness is still a weakness. You have probably never not worked on it last year. So your scores when you start taking mocks might not immediately be up there. And when you start working, 
the scores will not change overnight as well it takes time so keep motivating yourself keep charging yourself keep yourself in good spirits and give yourself some kind of a timelines for each goal you know divide that bigger goal into smaller goals step 1 step 2 step 3 and you know be happy on achieving each and every goal there can be some timelines that you might miss here and there but if you break up the bigger goal into smaller goals and target with smaller milestones it will really help you reach that bigger goal but more important is don't lose sight of your initial goal keep motivating yourself to work towards that goal next don't sit idle you know this is especially so if you are not working so if you if you are a fresher and if you are not planning to join any job don't sit idle work on your profile you've got one year the last 2 3 years you were busy with academics and now you have every time in the world you have you're you're going to be free for the whole day you also need a break from the rigmarole of cat preparation so take some small breaks here and there do some small internships or part time work you could also do some full time work or you could take some courses from coursera from nse from any any course that you feel uh, you you have an interest in so what this will do is this will build your profile you know if you are a fresher and you have no work experience do some internships you know internships with places like uh, Te- teach for india or maybe an internship with any other ngo so or maybe a course on digital marketing a course on let's say uh, stock markets so this will help you build your profile you know this will you will have something to write on your bio data if you don't already have one plus use this time to develop the right habits see i always think that cat preparation is not so difficult or cat is not such a difficult exam if you have the right habits so for example reading is a habit if you are not habitual reader try to develop that habit of reading so don't sit idle because the moment you are only involved in the process of cat preparation it will again start creating pressure because mind you scores are not going to improve immediately it they will still take time to improve and so you need some other engagement to ensure that you don't think or you don't uh, you know go into that negative thinking cycle so don't sit idle at home don't do nothing at home do something keep yourself engaged productively next but don't prepare alone and this is for everyone you know whether you are working or not working don't fall into that habit of sitting all alone and preparing always have a group of friends a group of people you know you get lots of people online you know there are hajar telegram groups there are hajar whatsapp groups you can use them to find the right people to prepare for so try to form a group of committed people committed individuals who are seriously preparing for cat and you know if you are not able to find a group you know then i would suggest try finding some coaching where you will get that reasonable atmosphere you know a good group may not always be a group of extremely intelligent people a good group can be a group where people are sincere about cat preparation while you know i am of the opinion that it is not necessary to join any coaching for cat but if you need company then coaching can provide you with that company because you are going to meet the same set of people for many many days and you will have your scores being compared to them to their scores so don't prepare alone don't live in an island try to have a group try to have a group of people who are committed and it will definitely help you you know working people many a times fall into that zone they are preparing almost alone so don't prepare alone next choose the right material you know these are there are hajar material online but you need to solve one full study material any institute the institute is immaterial here make sure that you solve one full material at least twice 
because when you are solving material in a hop skip and jump manner from random sources you are not covering everything that you require to cover for your syllabus or for your exam you need to ensure that whatever common types of questions are there you do cover from some some material some study material so make sure that you choose your study material with great deal of care and you know if you need if you need you also need sometimes mentors so look at some study a good study material resource and good mentors who will work with you during your preparation and finally i have always felt that whatever whatever it is you know you might not do those five things even for you implementation is the key be ruthless with yourself while you are implementing see as a manager you will have to be ruthless with, with yourself for achieving your goals so this is the first place where you will have some targets and you will have some goals which you have to meet be absolutely ruthless with yourself spend time on action don't overthink you know build the right habits implement stay focused on your implementation you know don't just keep thinking and overthinking because no method is right unless you implement it right so with that i have said whatever i have to i had to say at this juncture you know five things which i don't want people who write cat again to take to do you know these are five mistakes according to me so once again if you are looking for free resources you can join our telegram channel for content you can subscribe to our channel mend your math for strategy you can subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me for batches you can reach out to us for at 9343921347 and we'll more than we'll be more than happy to help you around there that's all thank you very much and good luck with your preparation